I spent the morning assembling the Jeep kitchen and dealing with some work stuff. So, that's all done. I still have a bunch of editing to do. It's going to be a day in front of the computer again. Can't avoid it today. I've been avoiding it for as long as I possibly can. Because as you've always heard me say before, shooting is like having a house party. Editing is like cleaning up after the house party. It's kind of, I'm in cleanup mode. Uh, the kids and Teresa went to the pool, Bear Mountain, to go a nice swim and relax in the sun since it's so nice out today. While well, I did all that, and they should be back shortly, but I'm running down to get me a coffee and just have a quick break before I dig into all the rest of it. Maybe take Ginger out for a little bit of a walk, because I've got her. Anyway, that's going to be my super exciting day. quiet today. I mean, I guess it is Sunday. And it is still only like 1 o'clock. So maybe there's just not a lot of people there. So the dog wasn't liking being at home at, in the house while I was out here working. And so I made a makeshift dog run. See? Hi, Ginger. Mm -hmm. So she can run all over here. Can't ya? Can't ya? Yeah, you can. Yeah, you can. I want to show you guys kind of the newest prototype. It's sitting in here on my table saw. <clears throat> so this is the nice new shiny prototype. I'm pretty happy with it. All being one piece and flat across the top. It's got these little holes here so you can strap down gear on top of it if you need to. And then it's got these little hooks back here to strap it down into the car. This is all breathing for the stuff. You can see the drawers come back here. There's a little hiding space, some space back in here. I'm going to see what I can do with that to make, to make it useful on both the fridge and that side. But I think it's looking pretty awesome. We're finally at that point now where my prototyping phasing is almost done. And the drawer handles are simplified. Instead of the locking over the side, you just go in and pull in. Lots of space in the drawers. I'll calculate out how much uh, storage space is in it. And then it's got the storage space in here too, of course. And then it's got the uh, the big slide where your stove goes. So same configuration as the other one because that configuration was awesome. Uh, different configuration or different uh, style drawer handles and it's all one piece. We saved a bit of space. We've made the storage a bit bigger because we could. But you can put any stove you want in there. We've made it so you can just bolt down any stove you want in here. I use this one right here. Oh, that's not my stove. This is the fridge slider. Uh, we added tie downs to the end here, three tie downs to this end and that end so you can tie your fridge down onto this plate, no problem. We might be able to save a bit more weight by cutting some material out of this, but I wanted to see how it went without it first. So the only thing left to do is install the drawer locks, but I have to wait for some components for that first. So I'm going to fit it in the Jeep and see how it all fits now, it's all together, go from there. Everything's looking awesome. I still have the drawer locks to install, but everything's looking pretty great right now. So let me show you quickly what it looks like. Here's the unit in the back now. So this is the new one. <clears throat> so as you can see, we've uh, bent the edges over, given it some strength and everything. We turned it into one complete unit instead of being sectional, which meant we got deeper, slightly deeper drawers. So we got a little bit more storage out of it, <clears throat> which is awesome. Great. We got rid of the uh, bent over door handles that you put in to pull and just went with this. Just nice and easy. Keeps the face of it super, super clean. 
and then this is the big drawer here. Again, it's exactly the same unit. So that's the system right there. And so what we've done in the back of the Jeep is we've changed it up a little bit here. I'll just show you <clears throat> the, the back is now flush with the seat down. So that gives it lots of things. And we gave you a mounting point here so that you can mount to this tie down in the Jeep right here. So you can just tie it down. I just quickly did this for transporting it when I picked it up. I haven't actually tied it down yet, but that's what that tie down is for. And then there's one on the other side as well. So that'll tie the whole thing down for you. Good to go. It's all vented on the side for the... <clears throat> anyway, so that's what we're looking at right now. It's looking pretty good.